Hi, church family. So here's some hope for Thursday. Hebrews 2 verse 1 says, Therefore, we must pay much closer attention to what we have heard, lest we drift away from it. And it's a passage of scripture that we'll be looking at Sunday. It deals with the reality of drifting, drifting spiritually, drifting from the gospel, drifting from our faith. Uh, it's a reality of our world that drifting happens. People don't drift into holiness. People don't drift into a mature life in Christ. People drift into um, apathy. People drift into fatigue. People drift into complacency. And what the Hebrew writer does is put some guardrails or what I would call rumble strips on the interstate. And those rumble strips are there to keep us in the lane, in safety. And guardrails or rumble strips uh, cause a little bit of annoyance uh, when we pass into them. But it's so that we will be preserved from a huge disaster. And I think that's how we need to consider these warnings in Hebrews, beginning with chapter 2, verse 1. We need to be careful. Uh, the danger is real. It's not a fictitious danger. It's not a hypothetical. Uh, uh, there are some dangerous results from drifting away from the truth of Jesus Christ. And so today, what I want you to take with you is, God, thank you for the guardrails that you've put up in my life to keep me focused on you. Thank you for the God guardrails. Thank you for the rumble strips. Thank you, God, for your provision. It is a act of mercy and grace that God cares about me so much that he puts guardrails up. He puts rumble strips that he gives me these uh, alerts and these notifications and these warnings that keep me healthy in my life in Christ. God, keep my eyes open so that I can stay on the road that you have for me. Lord, we love you. Give us wisdom today as we're interacting. Help us to be aware, aware of our lives, aware of our situation, aware of our conversations, aware of our relationships so that we will stay focused on you and present you as your ambassadors wherever we go today. In Jesus' name, and the church said, amen.